Alright guys, so it's been a while since I posted a video. A few years back, I got into 3D printing and um, I love the 3D printer that I have. I wanted to get into something that was a little bit better as far as prints go. Um, something that looked a little more professional. So I decided that I was going to get into 3D resin printing. So I've been doing a lot of research. Resin printing is a lot harder than just regular um, 3D printing. There's a lot more steps. You got to be a lot more cautious with it because the resin itself can be a little bit more, um, I guess, toxic or volatile. I decided to go with the Anycubic brand. I did do a lot of research, but um, they did have this stuff on sale. So right here, this is the Anycubic Wash and Cure 3 Plus. This right here is the Anycubic Photon Mono 7. I could have paid a little bit of extra money and got the uh, Mono M7, I think it's the plus. Um, the only remaining difference between the two is um, that one comes with a heated bed and uh, a couple other features, but I figured this one was on sale for $299 and that other one was like $550 or something like that. So. I figured there wasn't much of a difference between the two besides those small features. So let's we'll get this stuff set up. There's your cover. Okay, let's see here. So inside on the top. Here's the actual bed. Here is your tray. So there's your installation and usage instructions. Sorry. Got your power cable, your tools, and the little uh, antenna for the uh, Wi-Fi, some rubber gloves, that, there's your USB, and then see a pretty nice scraper there. This goes on the back of the um, cover. So there's a little hole on the back where you could actually put a, a filter, an air filter on here. Um, it doesn't come with the air filter, so that's something I believe comes with the updated version of this Mono 7. The little Wi-Fi antenna it right there on the back. That's where this little guy goes. If we want to use Wi-Fi so one thing that they say that you should do is um, or that it's good to have is like a, a heated plate or heated bed for the resin to go in so let's turn this bad boy on we'll see what happens I think they say you're supposed to hold it down there you go Of course I want English. Um, please select the server address. Global. Initial setup on first launch. Um, let's skip that for now. Okay. Kind of gives me a little rundown here. Molding principle, MSLA, printing size. 223.6 by 126.5 by 230 millimeter. Okay. It's your storage, USB cloud. Okay, this is your exposure time. Zero point leveling test, all this stuff. So from what I understand, you're supposed to take this up. So I'm moving 
the uh, lift up so that I can actually put the screen protector on the bed. Um, this is it right here. It's your screen protector. I peel this off and then I put that one on as quickly as possible. Um, just so that I can minimize the, the lint that would get on the screen there. This is a little bit bigger than that. So we're going to try to line this up as best as possible. So in this bag you got some screen protector accessories just in case like some like dust remover things of that nature. But again we're going to try to do this without having to use any of that. Okay, so let's peel this bad boy off. All right, well, let's see here. Let's uh, push some of this air out of here. I guess we can use a card of some sort. A few air bubbles here and there. I got one little spot where there's some a speck of dust that got underneath there which is annoying but from what I understand that's really not the end of the world Let's move on to the next step here. So we'll take this bad boy off. Unscrew that. We'll put this guy on like that. Push it down. Alright, so again on the paper it says the printer has been designed requiring no leveling for the first use. However, please relevel the printer in the following scenarios. Print if the platform geez, print if the platform has been fallen to the ground. <laughs> Changing new print platform on LCD screen. The printed object sticks to the resin vat instead of the print platform. All right guys, so I'm going to do a um, leveling test here. Put the leveling paper, uh, put the leveling paper in. Uh, specifically, it says that you don't have to do this. Like I said, when I read the paper, it's not necessary, but it is something that you probably want to do just to verify that your, um, your bed is level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch right here um, in the corner. And it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see, but it says leveling test. Okay, so you're going to put your leveling paper in here and it'll go down. So it's just like that. It's going to go down real slow. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure <clears throat> that you can't move the paper. So the paper's got to be in there real tight. So you can grab a corner, 
pull on it see how this isn't moving pull on it it's not moving at all it's nice and like snug in there done so this is level um, if it wasn't level then basically what you would end up having to do let me confirm this is you would have to take your uh, Allen wrench here you're going to loosen all of these screws here on the side um, kind of go back through hit the uh, X access zero point and then you kind of have to manually tap it to where it doesn't move um, when this is loose here this is going to the bed is going to move up and down but when it pushes down and it gets to the point to where you can't um, move the paper after you you know tab on the up and down key here um, you're going to go like 0 0.1 millimeter then you're just going to keep tapping it down until you can't move the paper and then once you get it there that's when you're going to tighten it up again and then it'll be level okay now that we have all that set up let's push this up again I want to check here's our settings so we can set up the Wi-Fi the AnyCubic app uh, printer hotspot um, things of that nature print logs device versions guide basically it has all of that it's your storage USB your cloud what we're going to do now is set up the uh, little vat here we have to peel off this little guy here so let me zoom out So we're going to peel off this little guy here, just like that. And there's two different types of film here. This one's got a little bit of a, um, you can kind of see it's not super clear. Um, they say for like miniatures and stuff like that, that you switch this um, film to a clear film and I'll, I'll put that in when I get it done um, and that'll get you better print but um, we're gonna put this guy right over the top like that So that's all set up for now. Um, next, we're going to set up the uh, the um, wash and cure machine. So let's get that set up. Looks like this right here is your. Um, cleaning bucket um, so what you put your rubbing alcohol in that is the top of the cleaning bucket here ah see that's cool so these are the trays that are going to spin um, inside of the uh, curing station there's your installation instructions. I'll have to read that later.
this is the little tray so you're going to drop that in and that's how you'll clean this stuff a lot of the times though like I said I might not even need to use the uh, cleaning tray much because the stuff that I'm going to print is going to be pretty small so I might be able to just put it in a little tub and clean it with a toothbrush before I cure it plus that will save me on using IPA uh, there we go and then underneath there inside that is the agitator wheel so that's pretty cool tiny USB port here in the corner that's for the actual light that goes here just like that all right so got it set up here let's turn it on um, if you go with the cure and then you could set it up for however many minutes you want and then if you just hit it, you can see the LED lights come on. This starts spinning. And then, so you can turn that on as well if you need to get anywhere else on that. So that's pretty sweet. Let's check it out and see what it does when time runs out. It just, oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Cool. So it lets me know. <laughs> I was about to say, it just turns off and it doesn't even give me any type of indication that it's done. That's funny. But it does. It beeps. But I figured I would give you guys a little unboxing and kind of show you what's on the horizon for me anyway. And I'm excited about it and excited to learn more about resin printing and the, uh, the uh, do's and don'ts. And I'm sure I'm going to make mistakes. <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.